Good morning, boys and girls. I'm so glad I get to be with you today and that I get to bring you your Bible story. So before we start, let's play a fun game of Simon Says. So if you don't know how to play, uh, the rules are that when I tell you an action to do, I have to start the sentence with Simon Says. So if I say Simon Says, close your eyes, you need to close your eyes. But if I say close your eyes, don't do it because I didn't start with Simon Says, okay? Okay, here we go. Everybody stand up. Oh, Simon says stand up. <laughs> okay, close your eyes. That was a tricky one. Okay, don't close your eyes. Okay, Simon says close your eyes. Simon says open your eyes. Simon says touch your head. Simon says spin around. Stop. Oh, I didn't say Simon says. Okay, Simon says jump up and down. Simon says give yourself a big hug. Simon says, hop like a frog. <laughs> Simon says, touch your nose, touch your ears. <gasps> I didn't say Simon says. Okay, last one. Simon says, give somebody in your home a high five. Good job, you did such a great job. <laughs> so that game had some rules in it, didn't it? Do you have rules? Maybe you have rules at your house, or maybe I know you have some rules at school. Why do we have rules? Well, our parents give us rules because they love us and they wanna keep us safe, right? And at school, our teachers care about us. They want us to be safe and they want everything to run smoothly at school, so we have some rules. Especially right now, we have rules where we have to wear our face mask all the time, and those are to keep us safe. So rules, they can be for our own good. And sometimes there are consequences when we don't follow the rules, right? When we're doing the wrong things, we can have consequences. So today in our Bible story, we are going to learn about the God's people, the Israelites, and how he had sent prophets to tell them, to warn them that they needed to obey God. And you know what? They didn't listen. And so in the end, God is going to have to uh, punish his people, and they're going to have to suffer a consequence. So if you're ready, if you're ready to start, let's get our Bibles out and we are going to read in 2 Kings chapter 17. God had done so many good things for the Israelites. He had rescued them from slavery in Egypt. He had taken them to a new land and he made a covenant with them and he promised that he would be their God and that they would be his chosen people and they were very special to him. And even, even though God loved them like a father, the Israelites forgot about God. They acted the same way as the other nations who didn't know and love God. And these were supposed to be his special people. They were supposed to be different from all of the other nations, but they weren't acting like it. They worshiped things that were not God, and they did exactly what God told them not to do. So God sent prophets to warn his people because he, didn't, he wanted them to stop doing the evil things. But did Israel listen? No. The prophets said that bad things would happen to them if they didn't listen to God and obey God's rules. But did they obey? They didn't. In fact, they sinned even more. And God finally had enough. He loved his people too much to let them continue in their sin and their rebellion. So God punished the people. He punished them by letting their enemies take over. Uh, the king at the time was not taking care of his people. He was not a very good king. The king of the Israelites, he wasn't a good king, and he didn't do the things that God had told him to do. He did evil things, and instead of trusting God to take care of his people, he paid someone to take care of his people because he, he didn't think God would take care of them. Well, one day, you know what happened? The king of Assyria and his army attacked Israel. The king was thrown into prison, and for three years, the Assyrians attacked the city. And finally, all of God's people, the Israelites, were taken into slavery. They were bound with ropes and hooks, and they were forced to walk hundreds of miles to Assyria. And Israel was destroyed. This is the end of our Bible story today. Wasn't it kind of sad? It was kind of sad, right? When the Israelites disobeyed God again and again, God had to punish them by removing himself from their presence. And it was very sad. But you know what? I want you to remember that God still loved them. 
And when we sin just like the Israelites did, it makes God so sad. And, and But you know what? He sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins so that we could be in his presence forever and ever. So that is the good news. Okay, I have two questions for you from our Bible story. Who allowed the Assyrians to capture the Israelites? Who allowed that to happen? God. If you said God, you got it right. God did. God allowed that to happen because they were disobeying him and he, that was their consequence. Now my second question, did God still love his people? Even though he allowed the Assyrians to capture them, did God still love his people? Yes, that's right. Even though his people were punished, he still loved them. And even when we mess up today, he still loves us. Okay, let's say a prayer together. Lord, thank you for your Bible with so many examples of your love for us, even when we mess up. Thank you for Jesus, who is our perfect example. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you have a good day. I'm so glad I got to be with you. Remember that you're special and that God loves you so much. Bye-bye.